I like the finer things in life. 98% dark chocolate, Diet Cola, the New Testament, Indiana Jones, and the Crystal Skull. But what I really do like, what I do really do admire, is the golf cart. And it's being at Kettleson Gospel Camp. The uh, golf cart, from what we understand, was discovered in an abandoned garage in 2006 and has been remodeled ever since. And the golf cart is known for one thing and one thing only, being the best part about the game of golf. And as you can tell, there are four, not three, not two, four cup holders. Uh, the golf cart itself can, fix, uh, can fit two people to three children to four babies. And the tires are all season. And the golf cart is powered by six batteries. That's two less than the Tesla, so essentially the same vehicle. And this thing is just great for honeymoons and great for romantic drives. The golf cart has a wonderful sunroof to make sure that your golf clubs don't get any sort of sunburn of any kind and keeps them well maintained. And yes. Uh, today's episode is my good friend Jack. We've known each other for a multitude of years and Jack is easily one of the funniest people I know and he also is just a, a good guy. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to the, you. Welcome to the show. You. Good to see you. Sorry, you caught me eating breakfast. Are, you, are we good to go? Everything good? I think so. Yeah, you got yeah. everything? Got your yeah. You got everything? Okay. Yeah, let's, let's boogie. I'm uh, just going to crank this thing in the back here. How many horsepower does this get? Hey, yeah, yeah. 2.4. Two <laughs> <laughs> now, Jack, let's, we're let's just going to go up the hill, and then we're going to come back. We're just going to go up the hill. And then we're gonna come back down. And Who go are you to talking to? Carter's back There's there. There's no one back there. <laughs> what? Carter's back there. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go up the hill, and then uh -huh. we're gonna come back down, and go in the cafeteria. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Now, Jack, tell me about your earliest experience, your earliest memory being at Kettleson Camp. Oh. Um, one of the earliest ones wasn't even at camp. We went up to the Switzer's cabin yes and we were just hanging out there and I thought they were super cool because they were like 16 yeah that's when people are really cool yes that's and, your peak coolness yes and literally we just played with fire that's it <laughs> it was awesome it was like one of the first memories I have up there oh this is our turn this <laughs> yeah yeah it's like you turn <laughs> oh, I, okay. yeah you know you know what I love about the golf cart mm. it's like Golf carts abide by their own rules. Like they, everything else has yeah, law like and regulations. Yeah, there's like six-year-old kids just ripping around kids, camp. Little children ripping around golf carts here. The uh, golf carts abide by Mad Max rules, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spraying themselves in the mouth. Yeah, there. saying Valhalla, whatever. Gosh, what a terrible film. My one of my early experiences at camp is back at senior teen when there's no plan activities. It's like one to five o'clock is like free time. You do whatever you want to do. And uh, there were so many mistakes made. It's basically the Wild West. Are you sleeping? What? No, what? just keep. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Wow, is that boring, huh? <laughs> um, yes, and uh, here we are. Wow, that was. Woo! That was a good trip. Risk. Not good trip in like. Yeah. Never mind. How are we gonna get it up the stairs? Uh, Carter will worry about that. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> okay, how was that? That was. Really good, but I was struggling to stay on. <laughs> I was like, That's so good. Yes. Oh. You don't like a hubby? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a phone call. What? <laughs> That's like one of the key parts of this show when I'm dying. I've tried coffee. But you just don't like it. Actually, the only time I had coffee ever was at camp, and I would get one of the other cabin leaders. I was so tired. And he was in charge of how much cream and sugar I had, though. So one day it would be 
nothing, and then the next day it would be half cream and half cream. For the first time, I thought I'd never have coffee until I was in my third year of college, and I was so tired. I had two papers to do, and I thought either I'm going to start smoking <laughs> or I'm going to start drinking coffee. Actually, you know what? At Essendon, I did have, I had a whole paper to write, and I was so tired, so I had Lord of the Rings running in the background. Like the, the movie? The movie. Okay. I went through all three in one night. <laughs> okay, and, good. And my roommate, he made espresso for us, a double espresso, but it was so bitter, I couldn't do it. So we tried to find sweetener, but we couldn't find any. So we ended up opening a bunch of packs of fuzzy peaches <laughs> and adding them to the coffee to make so this good. swamp juice. I remember one reading break, so reading break, you know, the week where no one, everyone's supposed to be doing yeah. homework, right? There was two guys who do homework throughout the whole day, but in the evening, we set two computers side by side, and then they have their own computers, and then they be playing World of Warcraft until two o'clock in the morning, and watching every season of Community oh. to do like a media binge instead of. Oh my the gosh! Opposite. But tell me about your favorite Let talent talent show. <laughs> your favorite. Right, tell me. Tell me about your life. Well. Uh, tell me about because that's one thing we both love is that we love the talent show, and we think thank you for faking it. <laughs> we both love the talent show. Yes, that's. Tell me about what your favorite experience is. Film shows are just, like I love movies and there's certain filmmakers that I love, like Quentin Tarantino because they're able to create tension and awkward yes. situations and yes. you just feel like you're in the movie, you forget you're watching the show and yeah. talent shows do that better than any other film I've ever seen. I love, your, oh, I love camp because it feels like you could be your most ridiculous version of yourself yeah, absolutely. and that's what the talent show does. Yeah. So there was one year where a lady went up and her talent, this was like junior teen or whatever, which is, I don't know how old that is, I'm homeschooled. Anyway, this junior teen, or pre-teen, this girl decides she's going to roller skate and sing, mm -hmm. and she, she doesn't have music in the background though, so it's just her singing, yes. just on the mic, but she's rollerblade, she's out of breath the whole time she's singing, because she's ripping around the audience, going through the pews and whatever, going... Yeah, I forget what she was even singing. And Mary had a little and whatever. And then she falls. And whoa, you hear on the mic? <laughs> she spins out. The legs fall out. Everyone goes. Whoa. And then she gets back up and keeps going. And then she falls again. She falls twice in the same thing. And everyone doesn't know what to do. And then her friend lays down. And she jumps over her friend Incredible. on her roller skates while singing. And... That's if I can I ever recreate the <laughs> tension and the awkwardness in that room, you, I could win Oscars or now, the, at the least question, a Grammy. The question is, did she win it down? No. <laughs> I, I remember this one story. This is years ago. It's like 2000, 2003. There's this girl that came up, and they're some of the most popular girls at camp, right? And they come up and they do, what was the song? Da -da 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 -da. What's that song? Oh. Uh, uh, Magic? Bring them away to the yeah. Yeah. Um, so they do that song, they do this whole flag and dance, and it's like really well done. But as they're doing this whole spiel, there's this group of guys that are copying their movements, mimicking them, and then they're the next show, they're the next talent. And then they go up and they do it beat for beat. <laughs> they mimic their whole song and dance, flagging it all, and they won the talent show, Jack. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. The, like, if you can be a jerk and win for it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I love camp. Yeah, yeah. That's why I come back every year. Uh, so my my best slash worst idea, or maybe my best slash most dangerous idea, is a game called Capture the Leprechaun, which is played at a different. This <laughs> is played at a different camp, and uh, the idea was like there's three people that glow sticks put all over their bodies, and every, how all over is it? Well, it's like 85% of their bodies are covered okay, okay. by glow <laughs> And uh -huh. so they have to run around camp when it's dark out, and uh, everyone else is on teams. They have to go tackle the person, rip the glow sticks off, and bring it back to their safe space. But as they're bringing, no safe space and, in this and as they're bringing it back, they have to, they're being tackled by other team members in complete darkness. So you can see it's a recipe for... For fun. Bro for fun and good time. and hospital trips. <laughs> so we're playing it, and I remember we're on the hill up up yonder there, and uh, I could see someone running with glow. You could see you could make out the glow sticks, but you could see the herd, the pack of children, of junior teens chasing after him. And 
which part of the game is every leprechaun gets one river dance, and so if they're cornered, <laughs> they're cornered by people, they can do a little jig, and then they have like 10 seconds to run away. But Who I was would honor that? that? None of the, did any of them honor that? No, of course that? not, no. But, okay, yeah. but they had fun. <laughs> <laughs> but at one point, there was a student who shall not be named, but his name was Carter Johnson, yeah. who was tackled. Hate that guy. Hate that guy. <laughs> He got his throat stepped on by a camper because they're wrestling for glow sticks. And then I thought, mm, maybe we should probably change this game a little bit. Someone and had to do it. We never <laughs> Someone had to do it. So. It's a lesson. Yeah. And we never played that game again. Gosh. Spoons was a good one. Spoons you know where you have all the kids line up, they face the water. You just bury spoons throughout the sand. Mm -hmm. And then you say go, and they have to get the spoons back to the water. That's when I realized how violent women could be. It's scary, honestly. And I would play, I couldn't have my glasses, yep. and I'm super blind, so yep. I would just wait on the water, and literally my only strategy would be the person who starts walking towards the water and has a spoon, I'm just gonna go and body slam them. Yeah. And I had a cut that went all the way across my chest and my deformed ribs, all the way up here from someone with a spoon. I remember one time we were playing socks and a guy broke a rib, so he had to go to the hospital. And that night we had a talent show here in the in the cafeteria. And he came back and he was just high on morphine. But he signed up to do talent show, so he was like, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. So we were doing a talent show together. And uh, he ended up singing Fire Fall Down by Hillsong, but he was so high that he was just standing there, fire, fall down. <laughs> just staring at lights. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Fall down and it's the whole song. And I, it was, it was really funny. It was, we were all laughing with him. What's going on at camp, man? Back then it was like the Wild Wild West. It was just the dark ages. Oh, that's good. Should we go for a spin? One last spin? Yeah. Okay. We're taking the bugs. You off and on? <laughs> okay, we'll go back to R3. I love the scream that this thing gives when you put it in reverse. Uh-oh. Getting another phone call. No. Hello? Nazis, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> That's your being brother, right? <laughs> Wait, are you Jay-Z then? I'm the Beyonce of this relationship. If you could be any celebrity, what would you? Dude, so you're like barely moving here. But <laughs> <laughs> if you could be any celebrity, what celebrity would you be? Uh, I think Kevin Spacey. <laughs> I do Wait, what right. year? I do it all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I could fix him, you know? <laughs> um, I think I've always kind of been a Whoopi Goldberg at heart. <laughs> I think people have said that about you, yeah. actually. I've heard that. Yeah. Did you ever hear, I won't say who it was, there's a, a certain guy here who we'd ongoing jokes. What is, what, what? <laughs> just press the gas. I'm going, what? it's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't need a license to drive this, you know that, right? <laughs> no, there was a student here camper who everyone would go up to him like, you know, so-and-so, you always remind me of, of like a white Will Smith. <laughs> what was that, Keegan? That was Keegan, yeah, yeah it was Keegan. <laughs> and so people would, whoa, Jurassic Park here, people would, uh, people would keep going up to him. Welcome to Jurassic Park. We spread no expense on this episode. Yeah. And, you know. Oh, well, let's wave at Kel. Carter, turn the camera so we can say hi to Kel. Okay, keep what? going. Let's say hi to Kel. <laughs> Cal, you're on TV. You're on TV, Cal. What advice would you give the young people? We got a car behind us. We got to go. Thanks for your advice, Cal. Thank we you appreciate Cal. it. Thank you, Cal. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, what were we saying? Celebrities. I would be Whoopi Goldberg. He'd be yeah. Kevin Spacey. At no, any but point. didn't. 
weren't more people getting in on the joke oh, with no, yeah, Will right. Smith and yeah. nobody would tell him no one would tell him so about like a year and a half ago he came up to me and we were talking the same question he's like yeah for some reason people always come like in all serious people will always come up to me and be like yeah I feel like a white Will Smith and so I think Keegan actually believed it for a long time that he, he had like an afro for a while didn't he yeah <laughs> like, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's no really no correlation between him Keegan and when he was in college he was so sporadic in his costumes and his outfits that one oh. day a group of us had a game where we predict what he was going to wear but it was so <laughs> sporadic and one day someone got it right like wow. they picked it down to the T and for the, the shirt the Hawaii shirt the the red flame pants and the bandana <laughs> I think that was Guy Fieri yes. <laughs> oh yeah he came to ask him one day oh, okay, good. to do a master class Is on there, cooking do you need two measuring tapes hey uh oh no. uh, that's the cops <laughs> Hide the mugs. Hide the mugs. <laughs> Hide the mugs. <laughs> no English. No English. Right turn. Right turn. What? What are you doing? Right. Uh, right. uh, We're adults. I'm. Uh, I'm 29, and you're. Uh, yeah, 29 in December. <laughs> Twenty-nine in dog years. Oh, we're going off road, eh? If there is one. Uh, Carter, you should get a shot of the road as we're going along here off-roading. Let's go. There's one. There is one. What? what? <laughs> you were asking a question. <laughs> I forget. <laughs> you just stopped. Ugh. So, if I call you Kevin Spacey now, would that be make you comfortable? Would that make you... <laughs> yes. I got loud in the cafeteria. Yo, Kevin Spacey. That's, that that joke is never allowed to leave this golf cart or this video. <laughs> wow, this is uh, we will never ever be able to air this promo video for Kettleston. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin Carey. It's the dark web. This is the going dark in the web dark web. Promo. Uh, I don't know actually if we can make this hill down here. Really? No, one forward ahead of us. Yeah. It so like stay here. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a nice shot of the lake right there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is the first and maybe probably only episode of Cabin Leaders in Carts Getting Coffee. A bear, there was a bear. What?